Here we are, the final shoot day of the year. Ant has invited his friends and family for one final shoot at this beautiful estate. Today's mostly about reducing the amount of cockbirds left on the ground to promote as much wild stock next year as possible. And just for the general health of the bird population on the estate, we needed to take down the duck population a little. And also today, I'm dusting off the Maruku. I've enjoyed shooting that TGS gun, no doubt, but this old girl has a special place in my heart. Enjoy. Right, come on. I'm gonna split everybody up so that you're not in the box with your friends and whatever you're so they can't be saying, well, that team had better than me, and that team had done. So, I'm gonna split everyone up. I'm gonna have Dad, be your team over there. Trev, have you over here, Mike, please. Charlie and Johnny on my dad's team. Oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> if a fox comes through, and it is 110% safe, then I'm happy for somebody to shoot it. We have two white ducks left. <coughs> one's mine, one's Ryan. If you want to shoot it, you're going to give me a 900 quid. If you don't want to give me a 900 quid, don't shoot it. <laughs> it's easy as that. It's a friend's day today. We're not looking for a number. We're not looking for anything in particular. It's just a bit of a ramble out and that'll be it. All right. First up on peg, this is Ryan, Ant's underkeeper. Uh, well, this is the first drive of the day, um, Thames. I've wanted to shoot this drive for, well, since I've been coming here, and now I am the underkeeper here. Uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's really nice to see someone do this drive justice, even if it was with a semi automatic. But hey, this is Keeper's Day, and he can do what he wants. After a quick social, it was our team's turn to go beating. Right, have I got all my standing guns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and myself eight. Yeah? Yeah. That's our standing team? Yeah. Right. Ryan, you can take your guys away then. Get the beaters cart. Anybody who's beating, so my mum, Dee, Dale, go with the Ryan, please. I'm beating on this drive. It's uh, the end of the season now. It's that sort of time that just makes you know that you're going to miss it for the next little while. It's a real question of why we do what we do and it's kind of hard to justify in a single sentence because there's so many facets of game shooting. I mean, you can take the conservation aspect and all the good it does for the countryside, but actually we do it for a greater inner purpose. There's very few sports out there, I think, where a team of guys 
and a team of other guys. People from all over the country here today, for example, of different age groups, different classes, different wages, different lifestyles, different thinkings, different politics can get together and throw all of that out the window and just have good fun, enjoying each other's company, enjoy their own ability with a gun, harvest meat for themselves, and then go and sit down and talk about it for the rest of the time. And what's more is you can then meet up a year later and because you shot with them, it's like not a day has passed. It's a unique bond. And I think it's that solidarity of community that makes this as an important a sport and as important a thing in a world full of solo lifestyles as it is really. But it does involve killing animals. And luckily, I'm not a vegan. So, let's crack on. Oh, what are they, Lilo? <laughs> they are Gilson's XLR. Oh, why are you using them? Because I have a Gilson's XLR Maruku. Oh, wow. The Which second is... best Maruku here. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> rotten looking cartridges into the rotten looking back of the gun. And it's actually camouflaged. It's color hardened. It's case hardened. Oh, is that patina or just rust? No, it's case hardened. All oh, right. It's actually case hardened. Or just rust. <laughs> <laughs> that's rust. That's rust. That's case hardened. What model is this? Uh, it was a Mark 38 trap, but restocked it, put new four end on it, and then have abused it for the last eight years. Down the edge of the pen, you know where the roadies are at the bottom? Uh, you'll just bring that there along, we'll bring it along in the back. Man, I love it when a beaten line comes together. Anyway, let's get on to the third drive. And that went well for the guys in the valley. They're still popping out a couple of ducks, hey, I think. On, Paul, mate. Everyone's heading up here, we'll find out how they got on. There was a lot of banging. That drive is always about quality over quantity and there were some stonking pheasants came off it. Anyway, nobody really knows what we're doing next. It's a bit of a play it by ear day, so let's find out. We'll have one, two, three round palm field here. So one way the just back from the tractor on this peg. Uh, maybe not half far back actually. One at the peg at the back of the tractor. You see the peg at the back of the trailer? Somewhere along here, one of these three pegs. Yeah, no worries. Mate. Johnny, where do you want to go? Or even if you just want to stick. Yeah, I was going to say that makes more sense to have one. I was going to say, one even if you want to stick two here, walk the iron one in. two yeah. here, one on the bridge, three on the far side. All right, main pen. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? So we're on the more pheasanty side and the other guys are on the more ducky side. So I dropped a couple of steel in and I have, and I'm sure people get very angry at me, been putting a couple of these VIP Pro Ecos through. But they were a standard proof shell. You can put them through barrels with full choke. However, you there is a uh, disclaimer, obviously, on all of that, that it may cause bulging and then you won't be able to sell it because it'll be subject to reproof or modification before you do anything. And I think the thing is I'm never going to sell this gun and one day it's going to be proof. But it's going to be steel anyway. I'll chuck some steel for it today and see what happens. And so far, I put half a dozen through. And they're lovely. No bulging yet. So we've got them in there just in case the ducks do flush. Please tell me you hit that. <laughs> I hit it. And that is why you should always be ready on peg. What was that? Practical game shooting? That wasn't practical game shooting, Sash. That was me taking a little break whilst the beaters are walking all the way up to get all the way back and around this huge drive. So I thought I'd sit down for a couple of minutes and take it easy because that seemed a logical thing to do. Take it away from times. But then someone shouted up a bird. What are you going to do? It's about the one day of the year where it's acceptable to shoot ground game and there is a fox, which is very unusual here. Um, 
has just pitched into that front bit of the drive. Another awesome drive down and decided to squeeze one more in before Elevenses. This is the legendary and beautiful Charlie. How'd you get on there, country mum? <laughs> Had a few nice birds. First one was the best one, but Sasha missed that. Fake news. I'm alone. With everybody shooting on form and the birds flying perfectly, it's safe to say the morning was going great. How's the day going for you, Ant? Have you actually managed to hit anything? <laughs> because I'm not rude like you, Mike, I don't speak my mouth full. The day's gone lovely. Thanks, Mike. Is it gin based or something? It's fairy based. It's like metallic finish paint. Welcome to Quince's. This is one of those little double drives. So we stand, and they're just going to push out a little holding crop behind us before we stand, turn, and stand the main drive. It went really, really well the other week. Let's hope it does something similar. It's really nice to be back on Old Reliable here. You know, me and this gun have had a long history together, and as much as I've enjoyed shooting the TGS gun this last couple of days, it's difficult, isn't it, to sort of make, make a, a big change like that? It's difficult to make a big change like that. Certainly without having sort of all the fitting work done. And go straight into shooting pheasants. I'm not sure someone already commented, I can't believe you went out without going clay shooting and testing it and doing all the work, but I'm not a patient man. It is very un JC of you. Yeah, I'm not a patient man. But you did damn well shooting it considering. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. You know, it's, um, Ant's been bullying me to bring this back out <laughs> ever since he saw me shoot that TGS gun. But, oh, I do love it. Old. Oh wobbly, split trigger guard, <laughs> beaten all to hell stock. But it is my gun. You good? That was an absolutely brilliant drive. A couple of nice ones, a couple of average ones, but uh, that says we need to reduce the numbers down a little bit and fill the freezer somewhat. And after I said that, walking back to the drug, picking up the dead pheasants, Sasha just challenged me to become vegan for a week to make up for all the shooting I've done this year and to see what it's like. So that's coming soon. They were up there, weren't they? Yeah, tall man, duck. Glad to see you tall missing tall pheasants today. Yeah, yeah, we missed one or two there, but um, don't mind missing a few of them. But yeah, those duck, they were... Remember, well, I remember one of those for a long, long time. Yeah, it's been cracking day. Birds though. are flying well, flying fast, flying high. Yes. Everybody's putting enough lead up in the air and we're finally hitting yeah. some. Good season all in all. Yeah, it's been a really good season here. Yeah, it's been cracking. Good laugh out, good group of people. Nothing more you could want from a shoot day. With the day drawing to an end, 
On the way to our last drive, I decided to take a little spin on Rian's hot rod. The name's Johnny, Johnny Carter. Hey, Rian. Bittersweet. That's the best way to describe the end of the shooting season. It wouldn't truly be special if it didn't come to an end. Although every day is a highlight, today really was one of those days you'll never forget. It was about more than shooting pheasants and it was about more than filling the freezer. It was even about more than community. This was about family. My thanks to Ant and his wonderful family and friends that made the day so special and memorable. And guys, have a great summer and we'll see you next season.